which is uh, yeah, she is one of them. But it was uh, the obedient themselves that actually came to sort of uh, defend the girl in a way and say, listen, you are right. Thank you for even exposing this. We've been doing this all along and all of that, no response, no nothing. So they said the reason why people who are not Yorubas, the reason why they are attacking the Yoruba governors is because they want to take over Yoruba land from the Yorubas. Guess those who use uh, that kind of a line, the Ronukus, the Ronu Nazis, mm -hmm. the bad start, the bad idiots. Mm -hmm. We call them voluntary slaves, so I do call them uh, sophisticated demorons. I didn't know they would take it even further. Now, Awa is a Yoruba Kanuri. She has nothing to do with egos. On top of this uh, dubious dark matter, I want to continue why we finally. I'm bringing that to you so that you can listen to the lunatics. Eh? The lunatics that are following Tifnumbu. The ones that uh, are feasting and spreading all this tribal hate. They said they are doing self-preservation. And nobody should is. leave our leader for us. We will deal with our leader ourselves. All those Ulori Brukubambi alas, one of me, a few of them actually, they don't live in Nigeria. It's one of them that live in the UK here. But it's famous for that tribalism and all of that stuff. How did Awa, a Yoruba Kanori girl, that helped shine light on the dilapidated uh, road infrastructures in Ogun State. It's so alarming. How did that then turn to Igbo, this Igbo, that? Most of those who are the Ronukus, the Ronu Nazis, they are actually lunatics. If you think I am lying, please listen to this person. Just it's a long bullet, right? And tell me if I am wrong. That this person is not a lunatic. Uh, calling out Dakwa uh, Biodo is a good thing. And you came and attacked me on my tweet, actually. <laughs> uh, I want to let you know that even when I made that statement, I didn't even know it had anything to do with you. But we have seen a very interesting agenda that has been going on for months, right? Uh, uh, um, so most of this stuff starts with supposedly innocent, and they take advantage of people like you to brand their agenda. So someone like you comes out innocently and says, oh, this is what I observe going on in Yoruba land. And then the expansionists kind of jump on it and then start to expand on it for a different mission. So I want you to understand the two separate things. Let me give an example of NSAS. That was a very noble, I was part of the people who contribute to, contributed to NSAS. I was part of the people who donated. And we loved everything that was happening. But you saw the, the guys, who, the, the, the lady who started it and the people who came out, you saw the intention. It, the intention was that they didn't want police brutality. They didn't want uh, people being attacked because you have dreadlocks, because you have laptops. How did it end? It ended in a bitter IPO bleeder, infiltrating that mission and then using that for a revenge agenda against Yoruba politicians that removed Good Luck Jonathan from power and by extension, his people that were enjoying that show with him at that time. That is where Yoruba Rono comes in. Yoruba Rono is telling people that, do not let people hijack the missions of people like Hawa for a different agenda. The way Kano twisted that thing, the way Kano took that NSAS movement and then used it for a different agenda. Now, uh, if you look at uh, something that happened in Lagos uh, recently, during the election times, right? They fabricated a false messiah. His name was Peter Obi. Put a lot of propaganda about him. Made him look like he's, he's the one that will come and save everything. And a lot of Yoruba youths fell for that scam. How did that end? It ended in an agenda 
not only a man that could not even bring unity in a small party called Labour Party. You saw the way they did to Yoruba people in that party, the way they embarrassed an elderly man, took a cap from his head, slapped him, abused him. You saw the way things they did. Now, that is the man you are trying to tell us that he is going to make a good president for a whole country when he couldn't even manage that small party. But how did the obedient movement end? The obedient movement end in a reckless attack at, um, attempt to infiltrate into Lagos and Yoruba land politics. Lagos is not there. Lagos is just a launching pad for them. And this is why we call a lot on Zeke's uh, mindsets, because when Zeke started, Zeke wanted to use Lagos as his launching pad, but his obsession was for all of Yoruba land. This is what these guys are doing. They, they, they tried so much in Lagos, and then that was, they, they had a pushback. Now they want to move to Ogun. Tomorrow they will move to Oyo. Uh, and the, the, the guy that uh, spoke before me, uh, I, would really, I would really feel like you people should tone down on, on, on pro, pro, um, conspiracy theorist mindsets. If you know the status and, and, and the means that God has blessed people that are in Yoruba, Rono, you will understand that those are not the kind of people that can be bought. I'm not the kind of guy that can be bought. I read Obrin and Conche, Rock, those are not people Bunker, that can you be were not bought. bought, but they yeah. appeal to the ones that could be bought, appeal to your own higher higher self of your fight, and you you joined them. You joined no, this, them. This was a, you possibly were not bought, but some people a, were paid to have a campaign against personality, not message. And you bought it. So if those people can get somebody like you that, to buy not, it, that's not then the there's, a problem. No. there's a problem. That's not, and also, um, that, that, before you go not, forward, I don't like this attack of obedience because I followed you guys to do that nonsense. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. No, I will, so I will let him finish. No, 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 no. I want to say, I don't want let to him finish. I, I will answer him. Oh, my God. You just the whole thing, thing now. Nah. I won't answer I them. them. I'm not following them for that nonsense anymore. I follow them to do that nonsense. Me and Electra. Oh, Ibo, she wants to take over Lagos. Oh, Ibo, are after Lagos. And they follow them and they shout, say, oh, protect Lagos. Protect Lagos on top waiting. Am I a mad person? I apologize to you people obedience. Nigeria is for everybody. If you want to, anywhere you want to, that your money is, you have the right. Anywhere you are living, you have the right. You are Nigerian. This is my own position now. My position has shifted. I will not follow anybody to come and be fighting for Yoruba, for then a group of people to come and be insulting me. No, that cannot happen. Never. Never. Our, Never. Our, our. Don't because of armful number of people to change what we have always stood for. Let, you have some of us that we have been behind you and we are still behind you because we and know the intention no, of what uh, you are doing. No, no, let bon, you no, understand? Let bon and that's why I said we should not relate... Sorry, that's why I said we should not relate this thing to Runu because if I am paid, if I am paid to support something that will not work for my state, then I should not be called Yoruba Runu. That's what I see it as. That's why I said that it could be some of these essays or PEs that we just gather these guys and you understand what I'm saying. Don't you understand? That, that's it's okay, just it's okay. it. let, let, I clearly see okay. what you okay. are doing. Let him finish. Let him finish. So we can move the mic. Let him finish. Thank you. So can I be yeah, yeah, continue, continue. I have like three minutes to finish, conclude your session. Mm, uh, our, your, your opinion, your view or anything does not stop Yoruba consciousness or grassroots Yoruba nationalism. You're free to your view. Uh, that, that don't mean nothing. So I don't know if that was supposed to be a threat. But, <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm why would I like threaten you? I'm apologizing <laughs> to people here. Why am I no, threatening no, no. you? Our, 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 try to make... Go, let, let, let them come now. What, whatever their eyes There's see. no, you see my Our impulse control. Our impulse control. I don't see let me person. Can I, can I land, I don't go let person. Our, 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 I'm going to move from this place. Can I I'm going to drop you. <laughs> Impulse mm? control. Uh, this is not our fight and your fight. Yoruba, Rono, and you do not have a war. We know who our target audience is, and we know what they are going to do, and we are not moving our mind from that. There's no thing that can change that, right? But what I'm saying is that when normal things that are wrong in Yoruba land are being observed, we welcome it. And we will join in any fight, a protest, to make life better for Yoruba people. But where we draw the line and where Yoruba Renu consciousness comes in is the moment 
the people feel like they can hijack that for a different agenda. The most, the, the, the worst roads in Nigeria is in the east. Those places are fuckingly soil. Er the erosion is bad. The thing is terrible. You cannot overlook all that and then want to take Panadol for someone's headache in Ogu State. That is what they call removing the log. Have you had to put it? Seeing the spec while you are doing the log. We are, as we are currently now, they are flogging some people's mothers to stay at home every Monday. A rogue, a rogue country exists where an internet prime minister in Finland is telling you, if you don't sit at home, you'll be so flogged. You can't That's see them calling out that person. You Wait, can't see them. I will beg you now. Not spoil this thing for me now. Okay, you want to go after him. Okay, make a note. Not the spoil this thing for me. Let me finish. Yeah, Bonga, please take like one minute to finish. Take one minute to finish. That's not cool. You are using. New Zans, These are the mentally deranged people. The bigots. Okay? who hide behind apps like this, okay, to perpetrate what they, uh, you know, what they call the uh, tribal uh, Olympics. They always want to deviate from uh, the conversation. They always want to sort of uh, divert your attention completely away from the point of conversation. They do that all the time. They are lunatics. These are the people, my dear Igbo brothers and sisters. These are the people among us who are obsessed by you. They are very much obsessed of the Igbos. And these guys cannot really tell why or where the obsession is coming from. Yorubas are not obsessed with the Igbos. Yorubas are responsible people. But we do have the Ronukus. The children of eight, the children of perdition, the same hatred they have on the Igbos and non Yorubas is what they have on Yorubas as well. So we have to just have to deal with them. And the problem is because they are always there for hire, because the criminal politicians in Nigeria, especially this Tifnumbu and his gang, who uh, you know, who brought back. This divisive tribal ethnic hatred in Nigeria. So Bonka Ebiri, or whatever he is called, I heard he's not even living in Nigeria. There are many lunatics, I mean, lunatics like that. And this is their terrain. Okay. So when you tell them about uh I'm gonna, they want one Nigeria, okay? They want one Nigeria. We are there will be no Igbos, okay? But at the same time, if the Igbos want to go, they want the Nigeria that Gowon said it would create if Biafra make any move. If Ojuku announced Biafra, can I create the core state? What do you think that mean? What do you think that was, what he meant by that? Eh? Abedi Bagbe? Today, the core states that I said it will create is what you call the Niger Delta. Today, you have the Igbos cut off from their own indigenous uh, other brothers. They caught them into some of these useless things they created. And all of you are fighting every for four years to want to like take your shots. He said it will create the core states. The core state is to divide the Igbo land. And he tried, he did. And today you have this identity crisis all over the place. Where people are like, are fighting themselves. I'm not Igbo. We are not Igbo. Why are you trying to? We are not Igbo. Why do Igbo people like to want to claim everything? There is no Igbo people trying to claim anything. A lot of you are lost. You are. Well, it's okay. You will find yourselves. This contraption will make you find yourselves. You will. And when you do, oh my God, you will hate Nigeria more than anything. Why could they do this to us? Why did they do this to us? You're all fighting identity crisis now. Yeah, we are Igbo. No, we are not Igbo. We are not Igbo. Igbo people, uh, they did this to us. Igbo, can you call or they, or they did it? You don't say if not because of our law, eh? Me, I be Jebu man. I can tell you I'm not Yoruba. I'm a Jebu. 
no be identity crisis with that. You know what they call a country? It simply means people who share similar things in common, like they share culture, they share language, they share tradition, they trade. Baba, they have a lot in common. Then they now share proximity. Proximity is that Ijebu is here, Remo is here, Egba is here, right? Then when you go further, right, you're going to see the uh, Ibadan people, right? And you see Ondo people here. You see Akure. You see Ekiti. I will know what told all of us that we have common language. We used to wage war against ourselves. Yes. Yoruba land, we used to wage war against ourselves. We will capture ourselves and we will take ourselves as slaves. Survival of the fittest. Then civilization came and the treaty was signed. Imagine, oh, you won't be part of it. Yorubans oh, came together after the Kriji war. Kriji war is our own civil war. And what is that civil war? So the civil war was that, uh, you know, the powerful versus the powerless. Then the powerless grouped themselves together to face the powerful in Yoruba land. So after that, we found common ground and we call ourselves Yorubas without losing our own indigenous identities. So we have Igbos. When they say Igbos, do you think it's a monolith uh, uh, body? But these criminals and some of your parents shamelessly fail to actually tell you that they are part and parcel of that Igbo land. Oh, yeah, we don't want them to come and kill us again. No. We don't. Meanwhile, this whole creation is absolute nonsense, right? Because you might think, I'm not Igbo. I am not Igbo. I'm not Igbo. Why are you saying that? We are not Igbo. Last, last, eh? You can see people like Bonka, Iberia, whatever, all these tribal uh, Olympians, eh? this ethnic bigot. So then, anything after Ore, mm -hmm. anything after Ore, all of Nabi Igbo, including Beni. Not because they don't know, but that is exactly why, that's how they are programmed, conditioned. And once those who are sponsoring them have power, they are not going anywhere. The entire collapse of that, the entire system will see the death of these kind of ideas. I swear. The politicians are funding them. You need to keep pushing it. Road bad for Ogun State. Ogun State's uh, daughter shared it. They said this uh, Ronukus became obsessed. They said she must be careful before the Igbos who hijack it. Kilo Kwan Igbo, Kilo Kogun State Road. No be Igbo per se uh, uploaded the picture which they have the right to upload. Because if you go to Ogun State, you will see Igbos there too. As Nigerians, they are doing their businesses everywhere, paying taxes. So, not forcing anybody to actually like uh, give their properties to them without anything, right? They are there in Ogun State. They didn't take the pictures. They use the roads. They are businessmen, right? They use the Ogun State Road every now and then. Igbo people have been kidnapped in Ogun State by kidnappers in Ogun State. Igbo business people, Yoruba, uh, you know. So everybody lives there. They pay taxes there. They can upload the pictures from there. That's where they live. But this time around, it wasn't even an Igbo person that actually is a Yoruba girl and Kanu, a Yoruba Kanuri girl. She was so surprised that, oh my God, see my papa state. This is horrible. Then she raised the alarm. The state government responded by trying to bully her. They sent troll after her. When that didn't work, now they've mobilized all of their tractors onto some of the roads to start grading them. Isn't that a good thing? What's it concern Igbo people there? What's it concern Igbo in all of this now? But the obsession is with the Igbos. I just don't know that. I mean, I just don't know why or, yeah. My conclusion is that uh, these guys are lunatics. They do not actually make any sensible, uh, you know, sort of a sentence or a view about this. It's just about the obsession. Oh, they are coming to Ogun State. They are now going to go to a law. They had the, the worst road is in the East. This place that uh, they don't go to, they don't go to work on Monday. All that nonsense talk. Repeat it, repeat it. Keep repeating it. That girl. Hey, no, 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 no. I, I, I did all of this with all of you during the election. I'm not doing this anymore. 
not joining you. I'm not joining you in, uh, you know, in hating the egos because this is not about the egos. You hear that? That's a what? I'm not joining all of you with all this nonsense anymore. I'm not letting any of you brainwash me and use me to attack other people. Now I know all your agenda. She said it to them. She was part of them. Now they have to, you know, I told you, if you look at everything going on with Nigeria, even your own states, yeah, Nasarawa, if you don't know anybody to blame, blame the Igbos. It is a, see, it is an unwritten code. A lot of you have subconsciously did it too. They are saying it, it must be true. Some of you come, some, I mean, I've had one or two people who came on here. You see, uh, my Egun, I love our Igbo brothers. I love them so much. I just want them to, to, to you know, I want them to stop uh, listening to uh, the people like Kobe. I want them, I want our Igbo brothers eh, to try and be united. Say, uh, what is really wrong with you? What do we really need to do to actually get some of you reformatted for real? You, this. Shameless, shameful people talk called associate Mawa. Your obsession with them, I don't understand. They are so arrogant, they are too loud. They are killing me. Like, you are just there, like, I just hate these people. I don't know why. I mean, I don't understand. I don't. It's everywhere. You know why I keep saying it? It's because. A lot of people would like to pretend that my even Igbo, Igbo people will say, my well, God, don't mind them, Daddy. We'll leave them. We know they care. Hello. Whether you care or you don't, these are stains on the Omoluwa B Yorubas. Yorubas are accommodating, loving. It's like it's too much for force. Now we have these homegrown terrorists, unproductive criminals who are now echoing. The rhetoric of divisive of the, I mean, the divisive rhetoric of their own uh, criminal leaders who mean no well for Yoruba land. You destroy Yoruba land, no road, no school, no light, no nothing. Then you want the Yorubas to say, hey, the Igbos, where you consign the Igbos there? Go and do your own. And guess those who are asking you to say that, these are a bunch of sewage dwellers, people that are, you know, and they are so loud. It's not their fault. I promise you, it is because of a system that forms of wealth, ethnic, tribal, divisive rhetoric just to keep power. It's an horrible thing, I promise you. Anyway, here is uh, to something is trending though, right? I think it's on TikTok. Uh, it is uh, the young Arewans. They are now like, oh, if Nigeria go divide the very hey, the north no get anything, oh, but they are wrong. But I love it. I love the fact that they are trying to raise the awareness. So we're going to stop by in Abuja. Where were the wiki? The man that just constructed a 21 billion era vice presidential vice president's house. The same guy that just got uh, a supplementary, he got 1.2 trillion naira. We had uh, as a minister. Then he is also going to get 98.8 billion naira supplementary budget. Now he has chosen that. You really shouldn't tell him how to, you know what? Uh, I'm just going to build houses for judges. Judges need houses. We must get out, uh, build houses for judges. That's where we go. Another set of 11 billion naira for judges' quarters. Yes, that you do your next legal year, not in September, September is tomorrow. Legal year in this division. Let me also say that Mr. President is not only concerned about building this alone. Mr. President has also provided that look, when he hears where judges are living, people were involved in trying criminals, people were involved in Controversial cases. There are rented buildings. Tomorrow, the money is not there to pay. And then the contractor will be embarrassed, the, the landlord will be embarrassing them. That is not what we should have. We should have a judiciary where they have their own houses so they will be comfortable and carry out 
their duties. What Mr. President has done, I want to say it to all of us, that we should provide accommodation, ten for the Court of Appeal, ten for the Federal High Court, ten, no, twenty for the LCT Court. My Lord, if the BPP helps us on time, you lay the foundation of these 40 buildings for the Court of Appeal, for the FCT High Court, and the Federal uh, High Court before you retire. I will believe by August you have laid the foundation. The President has also not stopped there. 